if four-year college right off out of school is not right for them, they can still get that education while they are doing a job. Business leaders join lawmakers and representatives from state universities to address gaps in workforce development in the southern part of the state. You often hear, well, the college students don't have, you know, the skills. Well, what specifically, what skills do they need? And how do we actually get um, industry to inform us so that when they're developing the programs, they can do that with the needs in mind. New Jersey Secretary of Higher Education Zakia Smith-Ellis was keynote speaker at the Southern New Jersey Development Council's Public Policy Speaker Series. The program focused on how employers can work with the schools to address talent needs and skills training to help fill positions. We need primary care doctors. That is a huge area. Nurses for our uh, DSP workers, our, our skilled laborers and our unions, all those who do the electricians and the plumbing and all that, have seen a decrease. And in order to hire new talent, some employers say they're no longer requiring that candidates have a college degree. Our young people, even though they don't have a degree, have the social skills, have the emotional intelligence, have the resilience to meet the challenges of business. All things that aren't screened for in a bachelor's degree, but are very much prepared for when you've had to do a lot of things on your own in life. Dan Rowan is the executive director of HopeWorks in Camden. The nonprofit organization trains young people in technology and then helps them get employed. Roden believes colleges and universities should work with employers to better prepare students for the workforce. Once one of our young people is in the job delivering value, universities then can add on the degree to upskill that young person into that management role. One of the misconceptions is it is okay to fail hiring workers as long as you fail the same way everyone else is. The fact is the rest of the world, the rest of the region isn't standing still. If we don't change how we're hiring and where we're looking for talent, other places will. We have to change the mentality of what we are providing to the talent that's coming out of the schools to keep them close to home and understand they don't need to run out to the inner cities to find companies like us. Smith Ellis says based on the feedback from business leaders, she wants to create a forum for employers to help colleges and universities understand what skills they're looking for when hiring students. In Mount Laurel Township, Raven Santana, NJTV News.